every time you go to a workshop uh, you need to make sure that your workspace is sufficient and well organized and with your tools within your reach so today uh, ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you for coming to our kickoff meeting uh, and of course get to share with you uh, a little gift here so that you can be ready in the workshop and i hope you've joined also our channel where we'll be making our major communication so uh, today i wanted to take you through a very quick tour on the interface of the civil 3d that you one of the, uh, the major tool that we'll be using in this program uh, and then the, the essence, the objective of this session is to synchronize our settings so that your workspace, your, your screen looks uh, as close as possible to mine. Should you be having different versions of uh, C3D, for example, a version uh, that is maybe uh, from 2015 uh, all the way to 2020, you know, 2024 we are good uh, we can progress from that point and then of course now let's take a quick tour and the first thing that you see are this interface I hope this is how your interface looks like so suppose you want to start new drawings new a new a new a new a new drawing you always start a uh, click on the cut icon and then you can start new open an existing get to save save us and of course get to publish and whatnot so this is basically what you need and then it gives you an option of uh, the the file type that you want to maybe import maybe a dwt a template and whatnot okay and then of course the style the arrangement of this layout is the ribbon style and in the ribbon style it makes it easy for us to move through also, the order of arrangement is basically as per the workflow, especially when it comes to road design. Uh, it's just as the workflow where you start with creating ground data, then you create your design. You get to visualize, you get to draw, uh, you get to modify, and of course, arrange the layers. So that's basically it. And then after the ribbon, of course, there is the menu bar, this one. Should you not be having it, because mostly it's not activated, uh, you can click down, uh, click this drop down, and come and show menu bar. For me, uh, mine is 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 activated. Um, now switched it off, and I want to switch it on very fast. Okay, so this is basically more of a shortcut. And then after that, each now after the ribbons, now we have the tabs. Uh, these are the different tabs that we have. Uh, they are organized with the tools that they, they need for such an activity. So if you want to annotate, uh, you come here, you make the measurements, the text, and tables, and add labels, and all the leaderboards, and all of that. And then should you want to view, then you have all the view options. If you want to output, you do that as well. Then after that, we go now to panels. And uh, okay, home tab is one of the best it's the one that has a summary of almost every every tool that we need so that's what we'll be mostly using and then the panel now is a collection of related tools so this is the panel okay and mostly these are the two important one i call them uh the creators uh toolbox basically here this is where you get to do the magic and now it has all these related tools so you have point surfaces you know they are related parcels, feature lines, alignment, more into design. If you want to draw, you want to draw culverts, what line work, houses and whatnot, you use the draw. Of course, there are some extra ones down here. So it's a collection of related uh, tools in each panel, okay? And then of course it happens uh, to every other. So for example, if you want to take, take off quantities of your works, you use this one and this one of course, okay? Quantity take off QTO. So you get to do this and then you generate volumes here. So they will be useful. So then next, what you need to explore is of course the tool space. So it's in the home, uh, this is the tool space. If you don't have it, if your screen looks like this, you just get to click the tool space and the tool space appears. So in the tool space, we have this key component here or tabs as well. Uh, they are like four. 
I want to focus on the first two, which we'll be mostly using here. So in the prospector, this is where we have data, all the data in the current drawing. So if you have an alignment here, it will be shown in alignment. If you have surfaces, they will be indicated here. And then of course, to settings is where we control the styles, the display, and the appearance of different design elements in our, our workspace or in the drawing. So we will explore that. We'll get to give settings in the styles for our points, our surfaces, and what alignment and profile, all right? Then uh, down here, the toolbox, this is where we get to generate reports. So after you design, you're done with the design. So suppose someone wanted, I was asking of uh, maybe volumes report current fields, use the volume report here to get uh, a copy of that, okay? And then after that, of course, there is the model and the layout. This is basically where you get to print your work, okay? The sheets that you get to plot your work, this is where you have them. So this is how the layout looks like. And then we will explore that during the production stage. And then after that, now the other thing is the command line. This is basically where you get to communicate with the software, uh, I guess, to give you feedback and you know and you can always move it around but to minimize on space it's good to anchor it uh there okay and then that after that of course this is now the status uh the status bar in the status bar this is where you get now to have a toggle or you know the toggles of the controls to control your civil 3d and if you are I know you have softwares uh, from 2014 up once up to now. I think this one should be looking as familiar. Now, how do you add and remove what? And what do you need here in this program? So the first thing is the coordinates. You can see it has popped here. These are the coordinates for this one. Of course, you want the model space. Uh, grid, I will not, we will not be using a grid of now. There is the snap mode uh, for now. Um, we can turn it on dynamic input so that everything moves uh, together. Uh, you know, the information, your inputs are dynamic. So that's, we can have that on. Other mode, uh, it's the right angle here. We can have it there. And then of course, one of the key things is the objects. Uh, yes, to the object snap, very important. We'd want to have a line weight. Maybe we vary that. Uh, then, the other thing is, of course, the annotation visibility out of scale. This is the annotation, uh, the scale, the annotation scale, and that's it. I think that will be good. And then someone asks, out first, let's turn all of them off. So when they are in gray, it means that they are not active. So they are not being actively used in the drawing. But when you turn on this one, the other mode, it ensures that all you stuff at an angle of 90 degrees. You see, you cannot move at any other angle other than 90 degrees, okay? And then of course, you another key object is the snap cursor. You turn it on. That one at least allows you now to snap at end points, intersections and whatnot, okay? So in that case, I would want you to right click on that and then make sure you have only ticked end point and midpoint then deactivate all these others because we uh, will not be using them for this session. Uh, as often, I just want us to explore with the two. Uh, and then after that, I think we're good, we're good. Uh, now, I want us to set the units in the scale. So you can uh, press right units in the, in the command line or just anywhere on the screen, then press enter and then after that, you will choose the drawing uh, units that we'll be using. We'll use decimal. Uh, angle is in degrees, okay? Uh, we use meters here, uh, meters for, for this work. And then just press okay. And then of course, we want to set uh, the drawing scale. This is the, uh, the annotation scale here. Um, we would want to do one is to 750 right uh yeah the measurements are here these are the for the measurements and then that means we are good to proceed there are quite a number of other things that you would want to activate but with that we will be good enough so 
uh, for maybe like tomorrow we'll be using the modify so that we can know how to draft draw anything any figure that you want to do and of course you know the draw the draw add modify that's what we basically be using to be able to draw our ideas what you want to execute all right and that will be good enough thank you so much see you today in the evening as we